worldwide exclusive. Yo, Gibby gang, stand up with your boy. Show some love to my homie Zach, aka Lugs and Eyes, over on Patreon for today's request. We got the Amity Affliction, TAA, back in the building. An incredible band, one I always love checking out. This will make my eighth reaction to them. We got Chasing Ghosts. That's what Zach wanted. He got the lyric version on, on tap for me so I could figure out what's going on. Supposedly, it's talking about suicide and, and uh, what happens after you die, all that sort of thing. So, you know, that's going to be deep. My love, my prayers, condolences. Going out to anybody struggling with those suicidal thoughts who've lost somebody. I know I have. Um, I'm praying for you. Life is tough, but we're going to talk about it at the end. We're going to take it to scripture. But right now, we're here for the music. Banger shades close by. If I rock with the song, these will be on my eyeballs. We'll limbs get to flail and we get crazy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, notification bell if you rock with my content. Set that rant over here, though. Let's get it popping. This is from 2012. Hold on, I, I should have known I couldn't get my intro in. I should have known better than even try to put a comment in there anywhere because they, they dropped me off. Go ahead. My bad. Very deep, very deep. No regard for just my emotions today. I'm trying to enjoy the music, but I feel real guilty smiling or anything when it comes to the song. The song is, you can tell, speaking from the, the point of view of somebody who has committed suicide, somebody who's who's already committed the act and, and, and tries to stop others from making the act, I assume is what, what the goal is with this. They're speaking it into life and saying, you know what, I'm here. I, I, I've done it, I've, I've, I've done the crime, I've, I, I made a mistake, and now, I, all these people gotta gotta pay for my my actions. All these people have to suffer and they have to feel that just loss and, and emptiness in their in their in their mind and, and in reality. Ultimately it's a very selfish act. I know that that's gonna sting some people. I know that's gonna rub some people the wrong way, but at the end of the day, there is nothing in this life that that God is gonna give you that isn't with some purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to serve the greater good. Us as human beings, we look at it like everything is, is selfish. We're mere mortals. We don't know why things happen. We don't know why we have these evil thoughts, but hey, nobody nobody said that life was going to be easy. Nobody said that you weren't going to have some trials, some tribulations to face. You you grow through what you go through. And if you just go through it and look at it, it's like, oh, the world's out to get me. I'm going to give up. You, you never grow into anything. You just, that's, that's it. You're only here on this side of the grass one time. Breathe. Again, I know it's a struggle. I know it's hard. I face those doubts. I understand the pain. You may have come from a different background. You may look different. You may, you may not have two parent household. I didn't. I had one mother. We all, every situation is unique in, in its own right, but giving up, that's the last thing. You should, you should ever do. That's the last thing you should ever consider. We all process things a little differently. I'm going to talk about it at the end and, and try to give some steps and some scripture behind it as to, to a different perspective and how you should view it moving forward. And hopefully that you can take some inspiration from it so you don't execute that act because you're leaving a ton of people behind whether you believe it or not. And it's not just you that has to pay for that decision. Oh, are you No, you're not. You're not. Gotta press it off. Oh, that's what I'm here for. Mm. Oh, I got trembles now. Good at it. Can't change it now. Heavy! 
my boy my brother yo i hope if you're going through something right now i got i got some thoughts for you just hold tight so it's clear that the whole message of this track that the surrounding uh purpose behind it was to inform you not to make the same mistake that they did i love that it's beautiful it's it's, it's very considerate one and they're it has a true purpose and an element behind it that I know life is hard. I know life is hard, but it should never get to a breaking point to where you literally break the, the, the chance of more life, break the chance of ever spreading more love and more positive influence on the world than you know, when you're gone, you're gone. That's it. it none of those ghosts are haunting you. None of those selfish you know, things that are, are going on in your life. I know it does, it's hard to look at it from a selfish lens. You're not thinking of it you're, as selfish. You're thinking of it as, oh, I'm a victim. I'm going through it. This is tough. This is unfair. This is not right. But guess what? There's more people than you in this world. And our whole purpose of creation was to serve others. And that's how you get true joy. That's how you have true fulfillment. So stop beating yourself up. Stop allowing those demons and 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 all those things that the world puts on us, all the wickedness and the sin to, to weigh you down so much to where you feel like you got to give up. It's, it's never never at that point to where that's that's the best option. It's, it shouldn't even be an option. So step one, and, and this, is, this is just me, I think it's only right as a fellow brother in Christ to all of y'all, no matter what you believe in, as a fellow brother in Christ, Christ, uh, to many of y'all watching at least, uh, that I dish out some spiritual food based on the basic instructions before leaving earth, the Bible. That's what we like to call it over here. Um, so which to those of you that aren't familiar with it, uh, is good news. It's great news. Matter of fact, trust me, changed my life. Hopefully it can change yours. So step one, recognize that we have a real enemy whose mission is to steal, kill, destroy all of that. But Christ, that's Jesus took on the cross for our sins, came to give abundant life and joy. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came, this is Jesus talking, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. That's John 10, verse 10. Number two, choose not to be driven by fear. Don't be afraid to reach out and help someone who is struggling or to reach out for help if you find yourself struggling. God won't ever let you go and he's given you others in life to help shoulder the burdens. You don't have to take it on by yourself. There's support and counsel available through many who understand or, or who have walked this road before. So if you need to reach out to me, reach out. Again, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a pastor. I'm again, just another fellow brother in Christ looking out for you, doing my job to serve and using my platform to say, you know what? Hey, put that thing down, put that rope down, put that gun down. It's not gonna solve anything. Matter of fact, it's gonna make things 10 times worse 
for more people, not just yourself. Stop living for just you. Number three, know that you're never alone. He offers hope and deliverance. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. That's from Psalms 34 verses 18 and 19. And finally, number four, know that God loves you and is always with you. He will sustain us through our greatest burdens. So cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. That's Psalm 55 verse 22. That, that's scripture. That's that's the real deal. That's law in, in the way I live my life now. And I'm telling you, any problem that man or woman has ever faced is discussed in here. They give you It gives you the, the know-how, the tools, the everything to succeed and push through that. If you're at rock bottom, all you could do is look up if you choose to. But if you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you realize that he died for the ultimate, paid the ultimate sacrifice, more suffering than you can ever imagine. You think you got it tough? Look at Jesus. He was perfect and took on all the evil in the world while he was still sinless. He, he never sinned and he took it all on. So if you look to him, you can be saved. If you look to him and realize and, and have true faith in him, you're good. And that's what... That's the only way to true fulfillment, to true peace, true happiness in my mind. You may disagree, but hey, comment your thoughts below. Let's keep the conversation going. Let's keep it respectful. Some of y'all may not know how to do that. Troll. Do what you want. Hey, I got that eraser for you. It's still it's still ready. It's still right at the fingertips, ready to pull that trigger on it. But I don't need to bust it out too much because, hey, y'all, I don't really acknowledge it. I don't really pay attention to it. If you want to hate, if you want to have that that evil and, and Satan drive in your vehicle, by all means do. So I'm still going to pray for you. I still love you. But, hey, if you rock with these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. Uh, if you want to support the channel, tap the thanks button. Check out the links in my description. Patreon, best ready request songs. You can buy me a coffee, PayPal. All of that sort of stuff is down below, but by no means do you have to. I'm grateful to have you here. Um, I love y'all. If you feel free to email me, contact me, however you however you need to, you, you know, any cares, any struggles you're going through, problems you're facing, questions about anything, devin at devgibson.com, always available to anybody, man, woman, child. You can always reach out. I'm here to help. Uh, but until next time, I'm praying for y'all. Shout out to my brother, Zach. Again, hopefully you're, you're pushing through these tough times and, and realize that anything you're going through, you can grow through it and there's a purpose behind it that's going to serve the greater good. So allow that to happen. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Godspeed. I'm gone. <laughs>